Isaiah sees a shining rescuer, a shining city, and nations drawn to the light. In the previous story, Isaiah told us how God was flabbergasted that no one was stepping up to love and help people who were being pushed down and treated badly. So God decided he was going to do something about it himself. Isaiah said, The Lord is so shocked that no one is doing anything to help that he decided to take matters into his own hands. His desire for justice drives him onward. The Lord himself is getting dressed to save. He puts on his rightness like a warrior's armor. On his head, he puts the helmet of his saving power. He dresses in kingly clothes of righting all wrongs, and he wraps himself with a cape of heavenly zeal. He will come with fury on his enemies. He will come like rushing water driven by God's very own breath. The rescuer will come to his city to save those who have turned away from their sins. Then God says, and I have a special deal I will make with them. My spirit and my words will not leave you. My words will be on your lips and on the lips of your children and your children's children forever. So get up and shine, for your light is here. The sparkling of the Lord shines on you. Darkness covers the earth, but the Lord shines on you. His glorious sparkles appear over you. Nations come to your light. Kings come to your brightness. Look all around you. They're gathering and coming to you. Riches of faraway lands will come to you. People will bring gold and sweet smelling spices and sing praises to God. I will put honor on my majestic house. Other nations will rebuild your walls and their kings will serve you. Even though I disciplined you, I will give back my favor and have compassion on you. Your gates will remain open day and night so that the wealth of nations may be delivered to you with their kings leading the way. Nations or kingdoms that do not serve you will fall. The riches of other nations will make my house beautiful. I will put honor on my throne room. All who treated you with disrespect will bow down at your feet. They will call you the city of the Lord, the mountain of the Holy One. You were once left all alone and not liked, but I will make you a forever source of pride and joy to future generations. Then you will recognize that I, the Lord, am your deliverer, your protector, the powerful one. Sounds of fighting will no longer be heard in your land. You will name your walls freedom and your gates praise. The sun and the moon won't shine on you anymore. Instead, the Lord will be your forever light. The brightness of your God will shine on you. Your time of sadness will be over. I will plant you like a baby tree, the work of my hands to show my glory. I will show how great I am through you. The least of you will multiply, multiply, multiply into a thousand. The smallest of you will become a large nation. Oh, when the right time comes, I, the Lord, will do this quickly. The Spirit of the Lord is on me because He has chosen and anointed me to tell good news to the poor, to help those who are crushed and under pressure, to tell those who are all tied up, you're free, free, free. He chose me to let everyone know about the year of the Lord's deep kindness and a day when our God will pay back those who caused trouble. He chose me to comfort and strengthen all who cry by giving them a royal crown for their head instead of ashes, by giving them joyful oil instead of sadness, and clothes of praise instead of discouragement. They will be called oaks of righteousness, trees planted by God to display His splendor. I will make a forever covenant with them. Their children will be known among the nations. All who see them will recognize that the Lord has blessed them.